Hi, I'm Matt St. Hilaire. I'm one of your city councilors at large here in Beverly. I'm currently running for re-election to a third term, and I hope to have your vote on Tuesday, November 7th. I grew up in Beverly, attended Beverly Public Schools, and graduated from Beverly High School in the class of 95. My wife, Elizabeth, is also from Beverly. She graduated two years behind me. We've been married about 12 years now, and we've got three young kids. Our daughter, Emma, is 10. Our daughter, Charlotte, is 9. And our son, Bowden, is 5. Um, after graduating from Beverly High, I went off to Villanova University and earned a degree in political science. And while in college, I had a chance to get involved in politics. For the first time, I had an opportunity to intern for Governor Paul Cellucci on his first campaign for governor in 1998. After graduating, I went and joined him in the governor's office at the State House, and I've spent the majority of my career working in and around government and politics. I currently work for Governor Charlie Baker at the State House in the governor's office, and I'm very proud to have his endorsement in this race. He's been a great example of, you know, how great government can be when people are willing to work together to get things done, and I've tried to follow his lead here at the local level. Um, really enjoyed my four years on the council working with Mayor Cahill and my colleagues on the City Council, and I'm proud of what we've accomplished so far. Um, we've got a lot of good things happening. We've got a new middle, middle school opening uh, next fall. Very proud to have supported that project, uh, and I'm very proud that it's on time and on budget. Our city is in a strong financial situation. When I first joined the council, we had about $750,000 in our city stabilization fund. Today, we have about $9.3 million in that account, and we're much better positioned to weather uh, any downturns in the economy uh, or unforeseen financial situations. Um, our local economy is thriving. We've attracted uh, businesses like Corona and high res Bio uh, Solutions to Beverly. They're bringing good jobs here and, and are relocating uh, and are attracted to our city, which is a great thing. Um, as your city councilor, I, I've really been focused on being a voice for the taxpayers and, and on fiscal responsibility. Um, I've truly really tried hard and, and committed to being transparent, I, and, I, and I listen to the feedback I get from residents. Um, I've been a strong supporter of our schools. I, in addition to supporting the new middle school project, I've also uh, fought for additional uh, funding for class sizes and, and also uh, have been a strong advocate of reducing and eliminating the $4,000 uh, full-day kindergarten fee. So I, I've been in the arena, I've been working up for the last four years. I think Beverly is heading in the right direction and, and that our city's future is bright. I do share some of the concerns that I've heard from residents about overdevelopment and uh, the impacts that development is having on our community, um, the impacts related to our class sizes, to traffic and parking, um, and to other city services like police and fire. And I think this is the biggest issue facing our city moving forward. I stood side by side residents of, of North Beverly in Montserrat to try to limit the impact of the Brimble Ave uh, Whole Foods Plaza. And I oppose uh, the further development at Folly Hill, a large scale development there, I think would be a bad thing for our city. So, uh, you know, how we strike the right balance moving forward is gonna be a critical thing for our city. Um, I've been a leader on the council. I feel I have the experience to continue to serve. And I ask for your one of your three votes for city council at large on Tuesday, November 7th. Thank you.